40. When I turned 40, I was offered three witches in one year. Oh. And it was sending me a signal, I felt, <laughs> about Hollywood and how they felt about people turning 40. You know? <laughs> so I felt uh, bad, and, I, I, and it made me sort of... I had, a, like, a little... My backup, you know, and so no, I didn't want to play them. So a lot's <laughs> changed in the last five years for you. Oh, <laughs> yeah. good, yeah. Mom. Good. <laughs> oh. 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 You're right. <laughs> nice smell. <laughs> <laughs> nice smell. Uh, I was looking I for an excuse. I think I fainted. Oh. Yeah. That was wow. so smooth, Mark Ruffalo. <laughs> Can you do the, the line from Forrest Gump where he suddenly discovers how much he likes running? I would be happy to do it, but you must show the lady with a cue card because otherwise people will think that I've actually memorized this. So <laughs> yeah. Show the lady with the cue card. Cut over to her. Just show it. See there there? she is. She's there. Yeah. I will, in fact, do it. Okay, so it go. Uh, this is for you, Mo. This, is, this is for you, Mo. And now you wouldn't believe it, me, if I told you, but I could run like the wind blows. From that day on, if I was going somewhere, I was running good. <laughs> so, well, see, if you were British, you'd be like Sir Robert De Niro by now. You call me Bob. <laughs> Bob. That's it. I did not see you drinking that drink. Well, I, now is not a, the, the time. <laughs> After. Oh, are you not drinking it? Yeah. I oh, I see. It. But you asked for it, is my point. No, they asked for it. I didn't ask for it. I didn't expect that. <laughs> Do you what want something it? else? No, what I'm good. It? That's great. What is it? It's a cucumber martini, Hendrix. Oh. <laughs> Did you expect it to look like that? No. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't look like a cucumber martini to me. <laughs> that just looks like a gin and tonic with some cucumber you're, in it. You're probably right. Yeah. So, we don't want to make anyone cry, but there are sad days in the publishing world in Australia. I don't know if you're aware of this, but I'm afraid Dolly Magazine has shut its doors, Nicole. <laughs> Dolly Magazine is no more. And Dolly Magazine was very important to you when you were starting out, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 I got on the cover of Dolly magazine. Here we go. Oh, there no. you are on the cover of the magazine. Yeah. Look at that. Looking stunning. Uh, they've got a giant are you Michael Jackson. facetious. No, you no, you look fabulous. Mm. Uh, I dyed my hair red. I was only like 14. But is your It wasn't red like that. Everyone always thinks it was that red yes. and it wasn't. No, they dyed it red. Inside, though, some fabulous high-fashion shots of you. Oh, God. A... No, this is beautiful. <laughs> this, this, this just mm. it gives you an idea of the quality of fashion in Dolly magazine. Um, <laughs> that is a, a lovely... It's, yes. it's, it's a lovely shiny jacket, and I have to say, these rope seams... <laughs> I'm not sure they ever caught on the rope <laughs> seam. I've never seen them before in my life. But, but this next picture, this is... Uh, you can, you, oh, you can tell. God, you're brutal! So, so, no, there's only one more. Only one more. So, I, mean, I you know wish, that... I honestly wish my hair was like that now. Oh, I'm so, it's so <laughs> dreadful. I, cos, I, I have to say, anyone that has curly hair that's young, keep your curly hair, don't straighten it, because it, after a while, you don't get your curls back. Really? So, no, they just, they kind of become just frizz mass. I mean, that is frizz mass, but I kind of <laughs> like that. But I, uh, yeah, it's gone. So I'm like an old woman now where I say, don't dye your hair <laughs> and don't straighten your curls. <laughs> but I like that idea. You know, with photographers in movies when they're doing, mm. you know, fashion, and they're always like, oh, look sexy, or give me something, give me this, or, you know, try this, da yeah. da da. What had the photographer said oh, so before mean. this picture? Why aren't you doing this to anybody else? your pants. <laughs> I know you're going to say something rude then. <laughs> no. God, no. We'll take it away. We'll take it away. There you go. <laughs> oh. You picked a good night, huh? You picked a good night. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. What's this? What is this? I believe, is that your own tequila? Is it tequila? Then I'm happy. <laughs> is that that good health? Is Listen, it... you, uh, before we start, I had last year mm. castmates, Bill Murray, 
Matt Damon and Hugh Bonneville come on the show. Yes. And they left the premiere, I left them drunk. <laughs> and they got here and they got drunker. <laughs> and I've never seen a television show like that in my life. <laughs> one like that before because they got they arrived drunk and they got drunker drunker by the end it was like i'm really glad the show's over now they were throwing, <laughs> they were throwing fruit at the audience <laughs> bill, bill murray threw a whole pineapple into the audience <laughs> it could have ended badly that's like a challenge <laughs> no <laughs> no what can you throw i'm gonna throw brit we're gonna throw brit at the audience <laughs> So, yeah, you're very welcome, all of you. And it's like, George Clooney here. I feel like the party can start. The party can start, George Clooney's here. Yeah. And, and thank you for using my whole name. I, well, yeah. Because I usually, you know, I like George Clooney. <laughs> we all like George Clooney. I have a new, I have a new uh, uh, couple of nephews who are like seven years old who I've now married into, and they come up to me and they go, hey, George Clooney. <laughs> <laughs> Not Uncle George. <laughs> I'm with them. George seems over familiar, so I'm just, I'm, giving, I'm just George. No, no, them. anything. Sir George, I don't care. Anything. <laughs> because everyone who works with you, they always say you make work fun. Is that? I didn't say that. You didn't no, say no, that. No, I didn't say that. <laughs> no, I didn't. Yes, you did. You said people. Actually, it sounds kind of annoying. You said people whistled on their way to work when George was on set. Well, I whistled. I whistled. <laughs> Happy whistle. Yeah, no, he does. He's he's uh, he's the man that. No, come on, you. Come on, are. Yeah. <laughs> Let me just say, we had a lot of uh, doctor talk between us. I we think. did. There was well, a lot of. Uh, I didn't understand any of it, but we did have it. Too well. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't remember. I didn't remember any of it. It's really <laughs> none of it. No. He remembers whole reams of stuff, which from considerably longer ago, and I, I cannot remember any of it. No. I can remember it ten minutes after I've said it. So the gobbledygook about half a statin, of blah, 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 you know all that. What was that really long word that you would say? Superventricular tachyarrhythmia. Yeah, that's good. Now, I'll tell you this. So good. When we shot that scene, I did not get that word right. <laughs> <laughs> but I've never gotten it wrong since then. <laughs> yeah. It was a horrifying experience. But I do, yeah, I think that, uh, how long did you do the show? Eight years. Eight years? Mm -hmm. And you don't remember any of it? Nope. <laughs> I'll tell you the one thing I have carried over from then is when... When I do play another role now and a director says action, I start limping. Oh my God. <laughs> I genuinely, I'm just like a sort of a dog who's had electrodes attached to him. I just start, start limping. It's a default um, walk. Did you ever switch canes just to just to throw people? Just throw people oh. off? Yes, I did. You did. I did. I switched canes. I switched limps. Nobody noticed. No, they don't, <laughs> they don't, care. They don't care. They don't care. And uh, Brit, if you had to choose. Mm. I mean, I don't wish you ill, oh, but no. if something bad did happen, if you were feeling oh, a bit poorly... Oh, don't make her choose. Between don't the doctors? Choose. Yeah. <laughs> Who would you go to? Would you go to Dr. House there? Well, it depends on the illness, because you were great with, like, specialty issues, right? You would yes. always oh, find... Yeah. You would figure out Yeah, the it was problem. pigeon poo from Africa or something. Or was it in? Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> you were on a show called How. <laughs> <laughs> you know this. <laughs> no, I think if... I think because you would always look... Uh, you would look past the obvious choice, the obvious diagnosis. So, I don't know, he may have a one up on you. Well, oh, he does, because I was a pediatrician, so you're too old now. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> we got the pictures uh, before the show, and we found this picture. Oh, you found my pinky. <laughs> oh, don't show it. No, no, this is, no, th we have nice. to see this. This it's is not amazing. Nice. It's not <gasps> nice. Oh, it looks like Meryl Streep has just gone, tell me I did a back accent. She's just like, look at that. She's like, how, what, what did that? you do? I had it re rebuilt. I had injured it so many times playing football, American it's football. It's this one, one yeah, yeah, but yeah. it's fine now. But it's like a gummy bear in there, like a little <laughs> piece of rubber candy wow. something. So what was that thing? I went up for a pass playing American football and <gasps> dislocated it. And it's happened so many times over the years that if I just opened my hand like that, it would pop that far. <laughs> oh, but did people, but did people, like in films, do they have to like shoot around no, it, it? No, I'm constantly, you can, you can probably see me in other films just going, yeah. Mm. <laughs> that way. And I, I, I was always fixing it. When my kids were young, they would ask me, Daddy, could you show my friends the magic finger? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sound like that. <laughs> Wait a minute. No, you went there. I didn't go there. You went there. I saw a picture. I was making a picture in the Philippines, and I'm in Manila, and we were invited to this very, very posh, expensive house to a party, and I'm being introduced to people and standing, getting a drink and all that, and the hostess is standing over there, 
and she's looking at me rather nastily, considering that I'm a guest, you know. It, it, like she, and I, I, there was a moment when I was a bit free and she went... So I went over her and she said, are you a drug dealer? <laughs> I said, no, why do you ask? She said, why is everybody calling you my cocaine? <laughs> You know that story's true, because you couldn't make it up. <laughs> a lot of people at the party going, where's my cocaine? Where's <laughs> I must admit, I didn't think much of Graham Norton the first time I laid eyes on him. <laughs> Looked like a stiff breeze could blow him over. <laughs> that was my first impression of the man. I could see why some people took him for annoying. He had a walk and a talk that just wasn't normal around here. <laughs> and boy, did he drink. <laughs> he drank like a man without a care or a worry in the world. <laughs> I hope to finish this talk show one day. <laughs> I hope Michael stops talking for just one second. <laughs> I hope people stop asking me to do stupid voiceovers like this. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> oh, very good.